Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying his truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is prophecies found in the Holy Scriptures. Before we begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, glory, honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rekah Kodash, Yahweh the Heavenly Father name, who never ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah, Yahweh Shai the Son name, who never ignorantly and willingly called Jesus. That is their pure the Hebrew names in the pure language, okay, their pure tongue, which the Scriptures talks about. And uh, Bahara Chakwadash is the Holy Spirit, because through the Holy Spirit, we have to understand the prophecies, the parables of the scriptures, and worship the Father in spirit and truth in these last days. And double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which the Most High set up to push his word out and teach our nation the right way and the correct way to bring forth fruit, meat for repentance, man. You know, these are the men of the Lord in the end of days, man, in the midst of this wicked, perverse, crooked generation, this rebellious generation, which our people are known for. And that's really the less what me and the brother Yashari want to go into, man. And I got the brother Yashari right here, man. And we just he was show, he showed me this video, and he aspired to do his lesson about uh, you know uh, just the the madness of our people. Hey, uh, why would you start? Could you go to the Psalms ninety seven? Psalms ninety seven. Yeah. And man, real quick, I'm gonna just read gotcha. that. No, I got gotcha. real quick because you know, yeah, you just gave a breakdown of our heavenly Father's name and His mm -hmm. Son, who the world even we call Jesus, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, the name of His Father is what the Lord said, man. Mm -hmm. Of our Father, man, of uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You yep. know, the brothers just gave a breakdown. So, man, hey, in Psalms ninety seven, in verse nine it says, "For thou, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. art high above all the earth." That are exalted far above all gods, man. Hey, so hey, above all is Yahweh Bah Shem Yahweh Shah, man, creator of all, man. Hey, and, and now you have guys that just rap a little boosie, in which I'm still a fan of his music. And I'ma yeah. still listen to some of it, maybe when I think about his words. But I know that this guy is set up for destruction, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the Lord has plagued him with uh different diseases, cancer. I think he got diabetes. You know right. what I'm saying? So, right, yeah, he do. And you wonder why you have diabetes in our community. You wonder why you have high blood pressure. You wonder why he looked the way he looked, man. The darkness around his eyes and eyes yellow and the skin tone the way it is. Look at your eating habits. You eat pork. You eat margarine butter. You have no balance, man. Hey, this is a good this is a good scripture. Verse 10, it says, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints, he delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. And we understand, man, everyone not called to understand the ways of the Lord. Everybody don't have the Holy Spirit. That's why we say, Baha, Racha, Kodash. That is, in the Spirit Holy, man. You know? And love is an action. And to hate Eve was part of what? Not eating pork. Not committing adultery. Mm -hmm. And the list goes on, man. Yeah. And a lot of people are just not delivered out of the hand of the wicked. They still under the snares of the devil. They still under strong delusions, man. And they do things such as this. So we're going to play the video. Yeah. You know, and um, and if I may add, yeah. no, no matter how much money you got in your bank account, man, uh. you know, hey, man, if you're an Israelite, man, these laws, statutes, and commandments are for you to abide by unless the, unless the Lord gonna fuck you up, period. That's it, yep, yep, and that's the message. That's the message, and that's the theme of this lesson. So, Lord, we hope it be edifying. We're gonna play this video, man, and we're gonna read the scriptures to uh, make it more ed understanding and edifying. Uh, yeah, press. Yeah, I'll be hating that too. They, are, sure. they wait always until you do a sit down. <laughs> you are you hit it already. Man. Like you better with him. Hold on, I'm going go back to this. Sit down. Oh shit. Here we go. Cause I'm a poke eat motherfucker. Ain't nobody gonna tell me what to eat now. Not even God. Cause I'm hungry, he gotta feed me. That's God contradicting itself. That's God contradicting itself. She gave me bread and water. Hey, excuse me, man, because it, it's so many points to attack in this video. He said he gonna eat pork and he, he don't care, man. Hey, that's a lack of a fear, man. I don't want to grab that scripture too real quick. These people ain't got no fear of the Lord, man. It's Proverbs 1 and verse 7. It says... The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So if you fear the Lord, you know, it goes a long way. And we're going to get that scripture. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So little Boosie, man, 
he a fool because he despises wisdom and instruction. He don't have wisdom. He don't have knowledge. And he's not going to be instructed because he don't even fear the Lord. So there is the majority of people out him like him that outnumber people like us, man, that striving and trying and, you know, killing off the old men and the evil works, which we once were in, man. But guess what? We've been instructed in the right way, man. We've been taught that fear and we learning that fear all over again. It was already in us. It just had to be brought out. So I just wanted to pull it out, man. If a person can't give up something as small as eating pork, getting a line and committing adultery, doing drugs and, and selling drugs. And when I say that, I mean uh, the, the the wickedness of it, man. Can That's I a regret, lack of fear, man. Kind of regret Ezekiel, Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28, kind of. Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 7, man. Ezekiel 28. Two and seven. Yep. Two and seven. All right. Yeah. Well, this is Ezekiel two and seven says, and thou shalt speak my words unto them. Hey, so the words that's mm -hmm. being speaking, spoken unto mm -hmm. who, uh, which <laughs> pertaining to the scripture, man, is the, uh, the children of Israel, man, the lost uh, uh, children of Israel, man. Hey, man I, 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 the whole head is sick. Our people is lost, man. Our people don't even know who they are. You know, and then the name of Yasharala is out there, man. The Israelites, they, the name is out there. Israel is out there. Yahweh Shai's name is out there, man. These people know that they are uh, um, a, a chosen people, but they don't know how to go about life. So, uh, we gonna, just like the prophet's been doing for 30 plus years, man, mm -hmm. you know, uh, man, since before we was born, brothers like us was born, man, hey, the prophet's been out here telling our people, man, their transgressions, telling them their sins, man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, letting them know, man, put down the pork, put, put, uh, uh man, practice Le the Levitical law, man, put off the old man, you know what I'm saying, that's the same thing which we're doing now, and uh, mm -hmm. being followers of great men, but it says yep. whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. The mm -hmm. Lord know that our people, he called us a hard-hearted, stiff-necked people. He called us sottish children. The Lord compared us to two of the dumbest animals, man. The ox know what is on and the ass is master's crib. Mm -hmm. My people Israel does not know, they do not consider, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, our, the, our people don't give a fuck. And for this punk dude, man, to have so much, uh, um, you know, uh, clout, so to speak, you know, Chicago slang. But for him to have so much uh, publicity... And to be world world known, you know what I'm saying? He, he blasphemed the most high after being saved from uh you know something so serious as cancer, you know. Yeah. But it says, uh, but thou thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. This is the only thing that the Lord gotta give you, dude. You know, he said his servants, the prophets, um, shall eat. So in that day, in JT time, man, when, when you people, because okay, your money ain't going to be able to buy you salvation. Your money not going to be able to buy you uh, um, for, for martial law coming after your ass too. Nigga, you still a nigga, man. Mm -hmm. You an Israelite, man. We cannot escape these curses, man. Yep. So that's why we have to practice the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Because guess what? This word is the only thing that we got. But it says, um, yep. yeah, that was the point. Oh, verse God. 8. Yeah. yeah, and there was something spiritual you said, man. Uh. We gonna eat in Jacob's trouble and famine, you know, and that comes with faith and fear, cause that. And then going back to the video, yeah. some he said, God, we he, gonna let him, we gonna, he gonna say it and God let us the it. own time for God God feed me. Yeah, I'm God got to feed me. I'm hungry. She gave me bread and water, nigga. Hey, what you gonna do when the bread and water ain't there? And exactly. The pork there? What? Exactly. On, These bro. are things that he said, and this is the mindset of a rebellious, wicked, stubborn person. And our nation as a whole is like this, man. But the Lord. Got a leg number that's gonna come out of this, man. So we're gonna finish playing this video and uh, pull out some more scriptures, get into the uh, Levitical law, what to eat, you know, what not to eat. And, uh, I gotta eat. Yeah. yeah. He gave me fucking bread and water. So what we gonna do when the bread and water ain't there in the poke there? Shit. If one of you had faith, then you would not choose pork. You know, you understand you've been tried. Your faith is being tested. So if you keep your faith until the end, man, you're going to be rewarded. And hey, the Lord calls manna to rain out of heaven. Let's get that, man. The Lord made manna and quills. I'm pronounced if I spelled it right. This Exodus 16. And um, uh, Exodus 16 and 11. And the Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurs of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At eve ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread. 
So the Lord is going to give us what we need to eat. And this one, he delivered us out of from amongst the Egyptians, them heathens, them sons of him, them Africans, which we are not so-called. The Lord fed us in a wilderness, a barren, desolate place. But he fed us in a wilderness. He gave us water. He protected us. It's not he going to do it now. The Lord is not a man that shall lie. But again, he made that statement because he don't have no fear of the Lord, man. It says, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. So by the miracles, you we going to know that that is our power doing what he's doing. By the prophecies, we are going to know that it is Yahweh. That's why the brother read the Psalms 97, man. It was a perfect scripture because... Our God is above all gods. We don't have to sell out. We don't have to compromise. We don't have to trim our ways. And we don't have to uh, try to be accepted in society by going live and making videos like this just to be accepted. And all his people on this live, they talking about a concert. Nobody is correcting him. Judgment is not going forth in this earth, man. And the Lord is displeased at that. Play a little bit more. Man. We're going to get these scriptures. They want to keep stopping, you know. Well, what I would give this a damn. God can be right in my ear. Running it. Son, do not digest the woo de woo the woo de woo de woo son. It's over with, God. Sit your ass down. I'm going to call you later. Fuck that. I ain't doing no shit like that. I'm gonna tell you what you eat and what you can't eat. Butter, butter, tell her what I'm saying. Butter, butter, butter. And yeah, that's it on that, man. You know, Lord, well, if you want to look at more of this folly. You know, you can just simply type in Boosie Badass going live, eating pork, and, you know, a video will pop up. I'm going to get these scriptures, man, because he's talking about what type of God tell you what to eat and what not to eat. That ain't the God you want to serve. Here go a visual picture of um what you shall eat, clean foods versus unclean foods. And at the top, you have multiple choices. And that's just, this, is just, this is just a sum of it. This ain't even all of it, man. You got chicken, venisons, which is different types of venisons. You got fish with the fit, the fins and scales, man. You got goat. You got mud. You got beef. You got endless amounts of vegetables and fruits and nuts. You know? Endless amounts of fish, man. And different grains. But yeah, what? Our people always just think about pork. You know, our people even eat duck. You know? And these are unclean things that the Lord said don't eat. So this, and crabs, shrimp, lobsters. So these are things the Lord said don't eat at the bottom. Why? Because they're unclean. They serve his purpose. But they're unclean to eat. So we're going to get into the Levitical law, man. Our dietary law, which we have as a nation. And that's why he looked the way he looked, man. That's why he was in the hospital for the time that he was in. Look at his uh, diet. Look, look, look at what he's saying about the Lord, man. You think a person not like that is going to go through adversity? This is uh, Leviticus. Uh, you want to read? Come. Come. Leviticus uh, chapter 11. Uh, start at verse 1. Yeah, you start Come. at Come. 11 and 1 says, And the Lord <clears throat> spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, speaking to the children of Israel. Which proves the Lord is about order, man. You know, he, he dealt with them to deal with the children of Israel. And that's what it's about. So our people, it's a hard pill for our people to swallow today. Man, uh, our elders leading us, man. Hey, this is how the Lord set it up. It always been that way. It's going to always be that way, man. Mm -hmm. It says, saying unto them, speaking to the children of Israel, saying, these are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever parted the hoof and is cloven footed and chewed the cud among, among the beasts that shall ye eat. Yep. Nevertheless, Simple. that shall ye eat. Yep. Nevertheless, Shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. Mm -hmm. And the coney. Mm -hmm. That's uh going into like uh rabbits. Rab yep, 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 yep. The rabbits. And Rosen family. Yep. It says, and the coney, because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hoof. Mm -hmm. He is unclean unto you. And the hare. 
like mm-hmm. the uh bulls and stuff. Like the rabbits the, and shit. Oh, the hair is like the rabbit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, and the hair. And the hair, because he chewed the cud, but divided not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. And the swine, mm-hmm. though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chewed not the cud. Yep. He is unclean unto you. And that's the point, man. You got a lot of people that talk about kosher pig. Or you can eat the animal just because they eat grass only. Yeah, you got certain, the, the Lord just said, you got certain ones that chew at the cud, but they don't part the hoof, you know? Mm-hmm. And a, a pig serves its purpose. And when you read the next verse, it talks about not touching his carcasses. You know, you can touch a pig and you can have a pig for its purpose. Shit, you can love a pig. You know, mm-hmm. you can have a pig as a pet, but you don't eat the swine. You don't eat it. Okay, mm-hmm. you don't touch it when it's dead. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't, y'all, I was, yep. that's what I was going to mention, yep. It says, oh, of their flesh, you shall not eat, mm-hmm. and their carcass shall you not touch. That's what it is. The Lord said, don't eat it. Hey, Boosie even went to go on and say, yeah, hey, here eat pigs, he eat pigs, people, and police. And that's what a lot of people going to be out here doing. They're going to be eating people because they don't have no faith, so they're not going to be fed. In order for a miracle to happen, you got to have faith, man. You know, and a lot of people they go they know they gonna get caught up in their unbelief, man. Let me go to this next scripture real quick. And that's really it. You know, you want to read Leviticus eleven on your own time, man. You can um keep on reading because it goes into the, the the seafood, different seafoods we can eat and different yeah. seafoods we can't eat. The different fowls we can eat, the different fowls we can't eat, man. God. And the Lord gave us our dietary law. And we are still commanded to keep that until this day. Why? Because it's written. It says um. This is uh, Baruch 4. You can read it. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. Mm-hmm. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh. Yep. Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the law that endured forever. Yep. Forever, man. Yep. It says this law endures forever, man. It's going to stand forever, man. Mm-hmm. It says all day that keep it shall come to life. Yep. But such as leave it shall oh, die. Man. Boosie badass. <laughs> and look at him, man. He live in a death style, man. The stuff he rap about, the way he eat, the way he carry himself. As scripture talks about, yeah, you can have all the money in the world, but if your health is not sound and your body, what does that profit you, man? And like, he a prime example of that, man. And the law, if the law going to be written in us in the kingdom, how is it done away with? And that's how they push and justify why they can eat pork. They lean on their own understanding. They don't feel the Lord. They don't trust in the Lord. So therefore, they're going to die remain in the congregation of the dead. The valley of the dry bones, man. Mm-hmm. This song. Let me see. Yeah. Let me go to this next one real quick. This uh, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes 15. I'm going to start at verse 7. I'm going to start at 1. He that feel the Lord would do good. And he that have knowledge of the law shall obtain her. And that's what it is. If you feel the Lord, you're going to do good. You're going to hate evil. You're going to skew evil. You're going to try your best to walk in the spirit and deny your flesh so you can be more profitable and meet for repentance when the Lord comes back. When a judgment day comes, what have you been doing with your time? <laughs> That's how the Lord is going to judge you. Did you trust in my words? Did you walk in my ways? Or was you too busy making live videos, trying to get clout, trying to get followers, trying to be the man? You know, the Lord is going to judge you for that. And it says... um. You jump down, it says, uh, verse 13. And I'm going to start up. It says, say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. Verse 11. Hmm. For thou art is not to do the things that he hate. So you can't blame the Lord or why the Lord don't want to feed me or why the Lord. No. You ain't doing right. Right. The Lord gave you the perfect way to walk in it. It says, say not thou, he has caused me to err. So the Lord ain't put no swine in your face for you to eat it. He put it in your face to, so you could deny it. So your faith can be built up. So you can understand, hey, this swine ain't got no power over me. That's right. These abominable things and these lustly desires don't have no power over me, man. That's why we pray. That's why we fast. And that's why we got the scriptures. Right. Your, your power is a pig. All right. <laughs> you can't cut it off. It's, it got that much power over you. A pig, a dead pig. A dead, spoiled pig. Huh. It says... For thou not as ought to do the things that he hate. Say not thou he has caused me to err, for he have no need of a sinful man. The Lord have hated all abomination, and they that fear God love it not. So hey, he don't fear God, man. The guy that don't fear God got to die, man. It says he have made him, he have made man from the beginning, and left in the hand of and left him, 
in the hand of his counsel. If thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform acceptable faithfulness, he hath set fire and water before thee. Stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt before man is life and death and whether him like it shall be given him. So whatever you like, the Lord is going to give you over to that. And that's love. Long suffering for you to continue your wickedness and before the Lord brings the judgment down, man. But that's just going to prove and show that, hey, look, you didn't want to choose the ways of the Lord. You didn't want to choose fear. So the Lord gave you over to your death style. He gave you over to what you like, man. Yeah. It says, for the wisdom of the Lord is great, and he is a mighty in power, and behold all things. And his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man's license to sin. And that proves, and that couples with Baruch 4, the law is not done away with. So a man said like this, man, and you can't not have, man. And that's the theme of the lesson, man. You can't hide this man said, because in this world, it's push, man, on a mass scale, man. Uh, 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 still first John 3. 1 John 3? Yeah. Kind First John 3. 31. Nope. Uh, I mean, if you want to. No, no, no. no. Uh, what, no, no, no what, what let's get point? straight to the point. Yeah, uh, yeah. Verse 4. Verse 4. Okay, come Hey, on. man. This is 1 John 3 and 4. It says, Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. <laughs> Period, man. <laughs> hey, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. What are you doing wicked? Going against his word. All, it's all abomination. Ain't no yep. sin greater than the other, but willful sin. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. That you blas blaspheming the Lord, man. Yep. You know, and, and then you, you know what's right. You know what the Bible say. You know that the Lord applied that law for you not to do. And then you question him and right. say, oh, well, if that's not there, what, what, what I'm going to eat? Right. Where your faith at, man? You know? Where your faith at? Just like, uh, what's that account? With the loaves of bread? With the loaf of bread? Yeah, the Lord fed the multitude. Yup. Yeah. Oh. So what the fuck you talking about? How he gave me bread and water while I'm eating up. Did he feed his, his he disciples erred. pig, nigga? He, Did he feed his disciples swine? He erred, not knowing the scriptures. He just doing too much. That's why the Lord going boost his bad ass. Yep. <laughs> hey, I'm going to read verse 5. It says, and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. Let's talk about Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we waking back up to who Yahweh Shai is at these last days, because he finna come back. And the Lord has given all Israel a chance to repent. Yeah. But if you if you reject that, everybody know John 3.16. Yeah. If you reject that, you reject the Lord, man. Yeah. If you're not trying now and trying to cut off the flesh, the Lord's gonna cut you off. You're gonna be cut off with the two thirds, man. That's right. And that's to sum it up. And you know, he was just used as a platform. This guy's nothing. He's a nobody. Yeah. In our reality, you know, he, he using the Lord's word the whole time. Hey, he, he know he read the book, mm -hmm. man. Hey, the Lord, the uh, Yahweh Shah was made flesh. So, you know, hey, that, that word was made flesh, and you're gonna have to meet, you're gonna have to meet him one day. Yep. You're gonna have to meet your maker, and it ain't gonna be nice, boy. Yep, yep. And it says, and ye know that he was manifest to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Talk about Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth have not seen him, neither know him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. And when we talk about the devil, man, you talk about the spiritual demon, Satan, man. Okay? And that spirit which is possessing these people to lie, to murder, to do the things they do. Just as the serpent was, just as Cain was, just as Esau was, just as these nations that follow under Esau is. That likened unto the the devil, because what does Esau do? He deceive you, man. Miss he pushed that vibration, get you to doubt the scriptures, mm -hmm. get you to forsake the standard, get you to eat the pork, get you to commit the adultery. Yeah. So your spirit can be out of line, man. So you can live into your flesh and he can control you more. Yeah, and this dude being of his father, the devil, Esau, eat him. You know, hey, he's misleading the sheep of the Lord's pasture, exactly. man. Exactly. You know, you have, by him having so many followers, uh, it was comments under that people. It was bitches. I mean, women. And they was bitches. They was shameless. Yep. Fuck. They was shameless women, man. So right. they counted as a dog. Yep. Um, they they was commenting under that like uh, pig emoji saying, "Oh, I love to eat pork and this, that, and the other." Like basically, like like just trying to be basically just 
being evil with him. Exactly. Just trying to get some recognition and shit. Exactly. So, but the same women that claim they go to church and believe in God. Hey, this this world is full of pride and wickedness and hypo hypocrisy, man. So our Lord said he's going to send a heathen against a hypocritical nation. I'm going to grab it real quick. Cause, hey, man, look. This, 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 these people are hypocrites, man. Hypocritical. Nation. Salaki. Isaiah 10 and 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. So the, the, these people that's coming, these nations that's coming through martial law and the UN troops, they're going to come against the people of the Lord's wrath. Who's the people of the Lord's wrath? You two thirds, man. Right along with your father, the devil. It says to take the spoil you and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. So, hey, men and women that think like this and agree with this mindset and don't correct it, because that's what we're supposed to do. You're going to be trodden under foot like the mire of the streets. Men, women, or child, old or young. Read Ezekiel 9 and 4, man. The scripture is going to tell you exactly what does that mean and what is it talking about. Because as a man of the Lord, we execute judgment. We tell you the judgment, man. That's right. It is Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not God. So we understand that he, the joy of the hypocrite, all his wealth and riches is temporary. He's going to be in the kingdom of heaven, shamefaced. And before he even make it to the kingdom of heaven to be shamefaced and live with the everlasting shame and contempt, he's going to die a horrible, grievous death, him and his family, which is going to tear him apart and torment him, man. Mm -hmm. Lest he repent. All right. All right. You got it. Nah, I mean, so, you know, Lord willing, man, mm -hmm. I think that was it on the scriptures, man. Brother, you got anything to say? I mean, uh, man, no, nah, I mean. If not, we uh, can just end it on that. Yeah, man. Cause, uh, man, hey, man, we just hit him. You know, we can go on and on about how rebellious huh. our people is, man. You huh. know, because there's, there's multiple scriptures on it, man. Hey, the Lord, hey, that's the whole point, man. We supposed to repent, man. Uh, what's that scripture? It's like, let me grab it. Acknowledge, mm -hmm. acknowledge the, um, the Lord, now that way. Acknowledge, um. No, acknowledge your transgression, repent, or something like that. Only acknowledge thy transgression? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 I think that's uh, so. Jeremiah? Uh, Jeremiah? I'll go to it real quick. Yeah. Try Jeremiah real quick. Did Jeremiah 3 and uh, 13? Only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I'll read it for yeah. you. You got it in there. You can close it out. Huh. This is Jeremiah 3 and verse 13. I'm going to read at 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return thou backslide in Israel, saith Yahweh, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. We're supposed to be coming back to who we are, man. We're supposed to be uh, rehearsing the righteous acts. So that way when the Lord come, man, hey, man, we, we can have that mark on us. Like, man, look, Lord, nah, I've been I've been doing what you've been uh, uh, say do. I, I followed the role. I mm -hmm. ate the role, Lord. I, 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 I followed it to the best of my ability. I uh, ain't know it was no pork in that damn uh, steak shit I was eating from the Issachar restaurant. I didn't uh, know that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I ain't had nothing to do with that, Lord. Because talks about that. <laughs> Woe unto the world for offenses must come. We shall uh -huh. eat our bread defiled. So you can't justify and say, well, pork is in everything. The brother Yasharia made it clear. Mm -hmm. Willful sinning. Yeah. That's what you're going to be judged according to, man. Yeah, yeah, and that's clearly what he doing. That yep. willful sin, man. And like, but man, it, it says, "For I am merciful," saith Yahweh, and I will not keep anger forever. And that's what the brother mentioned. He, hey, this nigga is living wealthy and shit, he able to go get the good fruits from the, he the get good everything. Edomite stores and shop among the heathen and be married. Got chefs in his house with his kids sitting around the fireplace and shit. And, and he got the nerves to not not just. Fuck just being a wicked nigga and not acknowledging the Lord, not acknowledging your sins. You know, fuck that. You just, you going to tempt him now? You going to provoke him to anger? Which you've already been doing by willful sinning. Yep. So you going to provoke him more with your filthy fucking mouth? That's why the tongue is compared to fire, man. Yeah.
That's why, man. Hey, your ass going to burn, man. Yep. It's going to get you in a whole lot of trouble, If man. you don't repent, yep. man. Yep. It says, only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, which is Yahweh, when you click on that word, Lord, and has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith Yahweh. He's scattering his ways amongst the, amongst the strangers. Mm -hmm. So that, that, yes, heathen two-thirds uh -huh. uh, taking taking heed to what the fuck he's saying. Uh -huh. And she actually fucking, uh, the fucking actual heathen just entertaining them. Because that's right. all it is to them. And that's that's key. When we read the Levitical law, who was the Lord's voice? Who's, who did he say, go speak to the children of Israel? Mm -hmm. The prophets, the men of the Lord's. That that's that's who the voice was, but they not have not obeyed the voice. It says, "Turn, O backsliding children, say, if you have, will find married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and will bring you to Zion." Which proves we don't gotta go down no boat, we don't gotta go on no plane, man. The Lord is gonna place us back in our land where He deliver us out of this great destruction and His deliverance, man. That's right. All we gotta do is obey His voice, and His voice is the men of the Lord. Right. Start with the elders and apostles over down, whether you receive it or not. Because who else have been laboring faithfully since they've been in the truth since they was young, man, 17. Wax old in their work. Saw the, the, the sellouts and the people come and go. Warning you of where all these false camps come from. Mm -hmm. well, who came up. Warning you of their leaders and the wickedness that they do. Warning you of the wickedness that Esau Edom is up to and what he's behind, man. Warning you of the wickedness of our people all and showing you how... To serve the Lord and manage it all, man. Hey, Who else is the man of the Lord? Who else is doing this? And besides the brothers that's in the different camps that speak and preach the likewise doctrine, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was just gonna say, just adding on to him, in, in the midst of doing all of that, being afflicted by the heathen, yeah, being man. afflicted by our people, which is counted as the heathen, yeah. man. Being a uh, spit on, talk shit upon, actually being uh, locked up. You know what I'm saying? Actually being, but guess what? Who delivered them out of it all? Yeah, how about Shimmy yeah. Shad, man? Yeah, Can't yeah. nobody tell us that our power is not real, man. Hey, only 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 we know the things that we go through in our everyday life and how these people try to afflict us in every different aspect. Because every brother is going through something differently. You know, I'm just throw out a couple. Some brothers might be going through child support. Some brothers may be having a, a legal problem everywhere else. Cause we know that this heathen has put out many unrighteous decrees, man. Mm -hmm. So these brothers been being afflicted as the prophets, man. You know? As the prophets, just like they didn't believe Yahweh Shah, just like they, they, they killed him. They they want to kill us. They want to kill our elders. But guess what? Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah got his word going forth for a reason, man. That's right. And if y'all don't hearken unto it, from Boosie Badasses to Lil JJ on the block, man. Yep. Hey, the Lord, is, hey, he going to pay you a visit, man, and you're not going to like it. You know, yep. and with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, our teachers, and they, the brothers that's pushing this word out with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom to the rest of the world. Ba'asham, 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 Ba'asham